Welcome to The Morning After, I'm Matt Smith. Who are you? This week has been a week of paying more for things that were either cheaper or free to begin with. In short, not a great week. Meanwhile, Amazon is sending drones absolutely everywhere, but first, after major biopics and documentaries on the likes of Apple, Facebook, Amazon, and on the other side, the likes of Pornhub, Theranos, Twice, and even the Tinder swindler, it's finally time for a historical documentary on MySpace. Yes, the rise and fall of arguably the first big social media network is being turned into a movie. For those of you that don't remember MySpace, first of all, I hate you. Second of all, it was a wonderful place where you picked your top eight digital friends and drama ensued. The platform's user base exploded and it soon became a hugely influential music promotional tool, long before the likes of Bandcamp and even YouTube. MySpace was even credited with launching the careers of several major stars now, including the likes of Adele, Paramore and My Chemical Romance, as well as countless other artists that you pretend you now didn't even like in the first place. There's a lot of drama to cover here as well, especially regarding its spectacular demise. In July 2005, MySpace was acquired by News Corp for $580 million. And at its 2008 peak, it had almost 78 million monthly users. By June 2011, that number had dropped to 35 million and eventually Specific Media Group and randomly Justin Timberlake bought the company for $35 million. It then subsequently changed hands a few more times after that. Next up, hopefully, a 10-part documentary series on Disney's Club Penguin. Fingers crossed. We haven't heard much about Amazon's drone deliveries recently, but it seems that the company is still very much committed to them. While a report earlier this year said Amazon had only made a handful of deliveries due to FAA rules, Amazon now says its drones have delivered hundreds of items to people in the College Station area in Texas. Although there's no word on how many were delivered to the right backyard. Amazon is now planning an international expansion to the UK and Italy in 2024. They'll even be using their newest drone revealed last year, the MK30, which definitely just sounds like military hardware. The new drone reaches twice the range of the old one and is also smaller, lighter and quieter than its predecessor. It can even deliver things in light rain, but that may not be enough in the face of British weather. Netflix has snuck two price hikes into its recent earning reports. Thank you very much, Netflix. Yes, it's increasing the price of its basic plan, which it actually shuttered earlier this year from $10 to $12 for people grandfathered in on that plan. It's also increasing its premium subscription from $20 to $23, although ad-supported and standard plans will still stay at the same price for now. Thanks. Frustratingly, Netflix's move to limit password sharing appears to have worked. It's added a 10% increase in users, presumably driven by couples that have broken up over the last few years but haven't had the heart to change the password. What can I say? I think I'm a pretty good ex-boyfriend. Now on to the other news. Ray-Ban and Meta's smart sunglasses are less terrible the second time around. Core features like the cameras and battery life are much improved and most crucially of all, they don't look like smart glasses. Pretty cool, right? Right? Sure. Creators on YouTube may soon be able to upload music that sounds like it was actually sung by famous musicians. Yes, YouTube is developing a artificial intelligence tool that can mimic the voice of recording artists and it's currently negotiating with record companies over it. The big issue, of course, to the surprise of no one, is money. Will artists be paid for the music fed into the AI tool or will they be paid from songs resulting from using that AI tool? X is testing out a $1 annual fee for new users in New Zealand and the Philippines. Whoa, 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 $1? That's way too much money, even for old good Twitter. And that was your morning after. We'll be back next week and I'll be dressed in a Halloween costume. Feel free to guess what it'll be. You'll probably guess wrong. See you next time.